Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. We missed you last Sunday, but it was Father's Day and I hope everyone had a great day celebrating their dads or important father figures in their lives. Um, so this week we are partnering with Otto. Um, I'm showing you guys exactly how I get my front flower bed to stay so well hydrated, looking beautiful, flourishing. Um, it's really been a game changer and it's one last thing that I have to do in the garden. Um, I'm also going to give you guys a garden update as we're spending most of our time this month outside. And guess what? Our fence got stained or painted, shall I say, and I'm absolutely loving it. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end. Let's get into today's vlog. so much going on I never would have thought I needed automation with my garden but well auto not only saves time and money it allows you to really enjoy your outdoor space by taking a major chore off your plate auto is so easy to set up and so is the app this is basically a 3d water printer for your garden and lawn once you set up the zones auto takes over from there and becomes your own personal watering assistance they also offer their own in-house solutions for lawn food pests and odor control that dispense right from the unit all you have to do is drop it in For our This Georgia Clay family, we're able to offer the code This Georgia Clay for $50 off your auto unit. Enjoy, I'm telling you, this is something you most definitely need in your garden space. So, um, I was so happy when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to partner with them for this. Um, I love this device because it's all automated when I am out of town. Last year, I planted some hydrangeas. You guys will see a little snippet of that. And I was so worried about it. I had my neighbor water some, water them for me when I was in Rome because they needed a lot of watering, especially the first year. So this minimizes that. It takes all the worry and stress. You'll be able to download their app here. It looks like um, their app is called Auto Loan, Auto Lawn app, not Auto Loan, <laughs> Auto Lawn app. And you'll download that app, and you'll be able to create a schedule for your watering of your plants. It's also um, is able to sense the atmosphere so it'll know when it doesn't need to water if it's raining or anything like that overcast it is solar panel here so it's able to charge on its own it does say in the directions to charge it overnight and then bring it outside but because the front of our house gets sun like all day um we just decided to go ahead and be beneficial with that and a little bit more energy efficient and just let the sun do its magic and um, power it for us so that's something just to think about if you live in an area that doesn't get that much sunlight wherever you decide to put it in this does reach 30 um, feet in range, so it should be able to water the front of the grass and some of our side yard as well, especially getting my plants, which is uh, way important for me as well. So let's go ahead and set it up. Installation is really quick. You could either mount it into the ground within your flower bed. You can mount it up against our pillars, which we decided to do, but at the end of our porch. And let's go ahead and set it up. So installation was really simple. We just went ahead and followed the directions, um, made sure to remove all of the pieces out of the box. <clears throat> So when setting auto up, you'll want to make sure that you open the inside of the unit because that is actually where the plug was hiding. Um, so because we decided to go ahead and let it charge on solar, we decided to opt out of using the charger to actually plug up the unit itself. It was really simple. I went ahead and got our water hose that was located on the right side of our home and went ahead and attached it to the auto. Um, we were going to go ahead and mount it to the pillar itself, but because we have that brick ledge that actually um, borders our patio we decided to go ahead and just let it sit there and it actually was enough space and auto was just slim enough just to fit right in that little crevice um so we just went ahead and left it like that but here it is all set up so it's been a couple of months since we've been using auto and i have to say that it's really been my companion in the garden i really haven't had to do any maintenance here um the water consistency is great I love the app it's a very user-friendly I'm able to adjust the schedule now that it's getting a little bit warmer I've adjusted um, auto to go ahead and water the front flower bed about three times a week 
just depending on the weather. Um, but also that's another thing when it comes to weather that because it senses the atmosphere, I don't have to do anything. Like it has a schedule in the app that tells me if it's gonna rain or not, it won't water because that would be a waste. Um, so it's very self-sufficient, it's very energy efficient. I absolutely love it. Um, another thing as well that I do love is now that it is mosquito season, Auto does come with some um, helps with that. So this is a kills and controls adult mosquitoes and ticks. And you just go ahead and connect it to your auto. And then once it's watering the flower bed, it'll also spray this solution as well to cut down on those mosquitoes and get rid of those pesky pets because they have been biting a girl up when I'm in the garden. So that's one thing that I love. And let's go ahead and set it up. So everything is color coordinated for you. So you'll just match the color on top of the bottle with the corresponding color inside of auto. So let's go ahead and set it up here. Go ahead and slide it down. Before I do so, I'm gonna put on the top and then this will just disperse a perfect amount. It already smells kind of like centinella. So a centinella candle to help down, cut down on those mosquitoes. So they also offer lawn food and then the odor control for your pets. Since we don't have a pet currently, um, I just don't necessarily need to use that one. And then for the lawn food, um, we do have a lawn service. Well, we have one and Matt's now taking over that responsibility. So he's already fertilizing everything. So we don't necessarily need to use that, but we can use it for next spring. Um, so again, I love the auto. It's just been a lifesaver here. Don't have to worry about it because a lot of my stuff isn't on drip irrigation and I don't have a sprinkler system. So this is one less headache that I have to worry about when it comes to watering the flower bed. So I wanted to give you guys an update of the garden space. Again, with the help of Otto, it's really been a lifesaver. It keeps everything thriving, growing healthy. I'm really enjoying it. Everything is just doing so well. Even this, I don't even know what this is still, but it's still, it's getting big. It's, it's flourishing. Um, so I guess it could stay here as long as it stays a little bit more compact. Um, I did want to show up that I did change out the petunias. They were just looking a little tired, a little ratty. Um, so I did change this out with calabacoa. I think that's what it's called in sweet potato vine. Um, so hopefully the sweet potato vine and the calabacoa isn't um, competing and the sweet potato vine doesn't take over like this one here. You can't even see the minka or the geraniums that I planted. But I absolutely love the pop of green here on the porch. Um, so the moment that you guys have been waiting for our beautiful fence. I know a lot of you guys have went back and forth and there was a lot of comments last week that said I'm going to paint it black. I don't know why you guys think I'm going to paint everything black. I think even our neighbors are like, you need to paint it black. And I'm like, why? So anyhow, I went back and forth. It was either going to be white or it was going to be this color here, which is my uh, front door and garage door. It's a light French gray. I think it goes really well with the exterior of our home. So I went back and forth and I was thinking like, what should it be? I did consider black, but I wanted to do something entirely different. So now the final moment that you guys have all been waiting for. So I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it too. Look, <laughs> the color is called ultra white. Um, I just thought it would be different. It's my take of a take on a traditional white picket fence. Um, I can't have a picket fence here, nor do I want a picket fence, but I do like that classic traditional Southern style of a white fence. And I think it just is absolutely gorgeous. So this is my take on it. I cannot wait. I plan on growing a beautiful climbing rose on both sides of here onto my pergola and just having that romantic vibe. Um, again, planting some hydrangeas here on the side just to soften it up a little bit, but I absolutely love it. It's still getting stained and painted, but again, with the current rains that we're having and our forecasted for the rest of the week, it's just taking a little bit longer. Um, but I did go ahead and order some lanterns that are on our black pergola that will be up here, and I think that'll be absolutely gorgeous. It's just a nice treat from the street when people drive by, um, and then also for something for me to look at and enjoy each and every day. So again, I absolutely love it. We get a lot of compliments. People are just so amazed that we decided to go with white because it's entirely different than anything that we have in our neighborhood. Our neighborhood really composed of either a gray fence, a brown fence, um, a natural color fence, or a black fence. But no one has done white. I'm pretty sure now people will probably do white because they'll see this fence and they'll want white. Um, but it's nice to be the trendsetter, the one that started it all. Um, but just make sure you do a little bit different than me. <laughs> so coming through here, um, we're going to have a walkway here to our fire pit. I don't know if I mentioned that last week. So it'll go the span of this entrance here from the fence. So that's going to be beautiful. I'm still going back and forth if I want black crushed slate for the walkway into the fire pit. 
Um, I also saw this new thing called um, salt and pepper peed rock and I thought that that would be nice too. It was like a white and black kind of speck and I thought that'd be nice and it kind of plays off of our style here already. Um, this weekend is a new plant that I planted here which is a quick fire fab hydrangea by Proven Winners. It's a three gallon. I normally buy three gallons because they're just a little bit more established and I like to have that big bang rather than waiting a whole season for them to actually perform. So I love them. They're a little bit more pricey, but I think it's totally worth it. Still thinking if I should put another one here, let me know in the comments. Um, but uh, this whole area, and I'm gonna get a little sign, but it's called Hydrangea, Hydrangea Row. So I thought that was really pretty and neat. Again, we're still gonna get some arborvitis here next year. We didn't wanna go with um, smaller ones and wait. We kind of wanted, again, that big bang right now. So next year we'll get some more established trees. We're gonna go with some emerald green arborvitis. Um, they're really nice and, and they only, they stay compact. So they only get three to four feet wide, but they do get up to 20 to 30 feet tall. So that'll be some nice privacy here. Um, also coming here on this side of these hydrangeas here, which are by Endless Summer, which are the Bloomstruck hydrangeas. So they're gonna get about five feet, excuse me, three to four feet wide and tall. So that'll fill in here. And then I'm also thinking on both sides of the walkway that will put some, um, what is it that I wanted to do? Some boxwoods along the side, just to create more of a pathway. So no one is tempted to step outside of the walkway and just walk wherever they want to. It's designated, you can't really do that. It's nice and symmetrical. So that's something that I'm working on. Um, coming back towards the back here, I did plant some um, alliums this weekend. Again, alliums are a onion plant, an ornamental, ornamental onion. So it's not an onion that you would cook or eat, um, but they do have these beautiful bulbs here that flower. This one, um, they're both, all three of them are Millennium is the type. Um, I know Proven Winter sells one called Serendipity. Uh, it's been a little rattled here because again, it's been raining. So that's something that we're working on and fixing. And then down the slope, we have plans again of putting on a tree line of trees here for some privacy. So when these leaves fall, we'll still have create some privacy, but also not too tall to block Matt's view that he loves here because here we get like a really nice, beautiful sunset and sunrise on this area or this part of the, the yard. I wanted to show you guys that climbing rose I was talking about last week. Um, and it has actually been thriving. Um, at first I thought it was dead and I thought like, dang, what? going on because when I planted it the whole root came out of the soil system but it's actually doing well I've got some new bulbs here some new canes that are starting to grow especially here this one's pretty sturdy um, and then I love the foliage too I think that was one thing as well people said that it has really clean foliage and it's a really nice deep green so something I'm loving these are the lanterns that I purchased that will go on the front of the porch excuse me on the pergola of the fence and I think it'll be really nice against the white just to pop and again, tie in some of that black that we do have within our space. All right, so here in our fire pit area, we've kind of put the chairs here and the stake represents it's kind of the circumference here. We'll show that a little bit more in depth of how we plan this area out. But uh, we're gonna have some string lights here that'll come off. We already have a hundred inch um, outdoor projector that we can't wait to share with you guys that we partner with the company. So it'll go here. We can't wait for movie nights. All of our neighbors are gonna be jealous, but oh well. Um, but hopefully they're my friend and they get an invite. <laughs> so we cannot wait to enjoy this space. It's just been something that we've been working on that's been, it's taken some time because again, last year we started, I think this project, what we did this in August and by then it was just too hot to even do anything else. We wanted to go back in the house. But since a lot of the inside of our home is completed, it just makes sense now to focus on the backyard so that way we can have our indoor or oasis match our outdoor oasis as well. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Again, I absolutely love the fence. Let me know what you guys think about the white. It's so vibrant. Like at night, you can see the fence still. A lot of fences kind of disappear in the dark because they're so dark and, and it's dark out here. You can't really see them, but our fence stands out day and night and I absolutely love it and it's something that I've always wanted and I thank Matt for leaning me towards it because I was going more so, more so towards the light French gray and um, I really wanted to do the white but I didn't want him to be like what the heck are you doing in my house <laughs> I live in a house with a white fence around it but he trusted the process he loves it and I love it too and I can't wait to decorate it for Christmas and all of those things I think 
beautiful natural green garland on there it's going to be absolutely gorgeous with lights and you know how i am it's going to be a centerpiece so again thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this georgia clay please make sure that you like subscribe share it with a friend and i think we'll be back next week i don't think fourth of july starts next weekend i think so all right but you guys have a great rest of your week bye guys